Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a while since I have done a video and that is mainly because I finally got married. Yes, I am a married woman now um, and I have been dealing with cleaning up after the wedding, planning for the wedding beforehand. So I know I've been kind of MIA from all my social media and on here and stuff. So if you guys were wondering, that is what happened. I am fine. Um, I actually got sick immediately after the wedding, so I wasn't able to film anything, and I was sick at the wedding and before the wedding. It was a whole mess. So anyway, now that I am done being sick, I think, um, I'm going to be doing a makeup challenge for you guys. I'm going to do the random number generator picks my makeup challenge um if you guys don't know how this works basically you select a bunch of products all within uh the same category and then you put that number of products into a random generator and you pick a number and whatever one whatever number you have assigned to that product in that category that's the number of product you use hopefully that made sense so today i am going to be doing that so i have the generator ready so let's get started the first category is going to be primers so i have five primers to choose from i have the la girl pro conceal in light peach i have the kula dawn patrol classic primer i have the nyx pore filler i have the ulta flawless prime and i have the uh Cica pear derma green solution from dr jart so i have one through five in here and let's generate so at number three the third one i said was the next one which is great because this is my usual everyday primer so i'm just gonna put some of this on the back of my hand and to apply this primer i'm just going to use a real techniques buffing brush i think that works best with this um, so yeah, I got married and so far so good. We're not going on a honeymoon or anything. Um, I mean, I really don't feel any different uh, with it. I just feel, you know, like we were before. But maybe that's because we haven't like moved in together or we haven't done any of that classic stuff. And there's a bunch of reasons why we haven't done that. Um, but I will get into that stuff later. Um, another reason I kind of took a break was because we did just rescue a dog. Um, he will be on here eventually. But yeah, we rescued a Kane Corso. His name is Ruger. He has his own Instagram. I will leave it down below. Um, but yeah, I've been really busy with him. So that is where I have been. Now that we're done with primer, we are going to go into foundation. I do have six foundations here. Uh, actually, I think I have seven. I have seven foundations. So, number one is the Remmel Stay Matte Mousse Foundation. Number two, we have the Marcel City Tinted Cream. Number three is my usual. That is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Number four is an old favorite. This is the Maybelline uh, Matte and Poreless. And then we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect. And we have the Liz Wayeter BB Cream. Now some of these came from my Halloween drawer. So some of them are a little bit darker than my normal color. Some of them are lighter. So we're gonna see how this goes. So change generated to one through six. And we're generating and it said number one. So it is the Remmel Stay Matte Mousse. This is actually a little bit paler than I am. Uh, but we're going to just do as the makeup gods say here with the generator and put some of that on the back of my hand. Hopefully you guys can see like it's pretty light. It's definitely not my summer color. It's more of my winter color, um, but it is fairly pink based. So I'm going to put this on with a brush, just a Sigma Kabuki brush seems to be the best way to put this on. And as you can see, as I'm putting it on my skin, it is pretty light. So I am just going to buff it in to my face. This is definitely not one of my favorite foundations. 
Uh, I feel like it's more of a costume makeup. It definitely sits like a costume makeup. It's very kind of heavy on the skin. It's, I shouldn't say heavy. It's very light on the skin. Like you don't really feel like it's there. My camera's gonna go nuts because my face is gonna be so light compared to my shirt and everything. But it, um, it just, I feel like it takes like a while to blend out, even with this brush, which usually blends pretty flawlessly, fairly quickly. It just takes a lot of extra effort and it kind of settles into your creases because it is a mousse. So the next step is brows. I have a few products here. I have five brow products. I have the Maybelline Brow Drama, the LA Colors Browy Wowie, and this has been my normal go-to, the iMethod Liquid Tattoo Brow Pen, the Beauty Botanic or Butanique Beauty Fill and Tame Eyebrow, uh, like mascara, brow gel. I hate this stuff I think it's way too dark and really chunky and then the benefit give me brow which I don't know that I've ever actually used so in we go set it back to five generate number three so that is the eye method brow pencil which I did review uh, so we will put this in this creates a very dark dramatic brow so I'm just going to use this bully from this one because my brows are kind of all over the place uh, and create a look with this. Let's hope that I can do something. I think I'm going to create just like a natural look. Like I'm not going to really define them too much. Like on the ends, I'm just going to add the product and maybe create a little more of a tail so that... I can get kind of leave it up for interpretation with the rest of my face so I did prime my eyelids because I only have one eyelid primer um, the only other thing I would use is concealer but let's be honest like when it's 50 50 I'm just gonna take the, the decent chance so now we're gonna do eyeshadow so I'm saving concealer in case we have a lot of fallout I have five palettes here and I'm going to pick one through five for the palettes and then one through however many colors there are in each palette to determine my colors. So I have the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Passion for Color. I have the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I tried to pick a range of brands uh, so that nothing would be kind of the same. I have the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. The BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette and the Lorac Mega Pro 3 Palette. I'm hoping to get something kind of colorful, so let's, fingers crossed. Generate, I got number five. So we got the Mega Pro 3 Palette. That is the biggest palette out of all of these. If you guys don't know, this is what the inside looks like. So I did not get colorful. There are 32 colors in this palette. So let's see what our first color is. 15. So there are eight in each row. That means that 15 is gonna be this color here, bark, which is this kind of like deep brown. So I'm guessing with a deep brown, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and lay this as a transition color. I don't know that I've ever even done more with this color then swatch it. So this will be uh, interesting to see how this looks. And it's going on a non-set primer. So, okay, it's kind of like a milk chocolate color. We'll generate again. And number 27. The color we got is Rust. That's right here. It's kind of like a coppery gold which I guess will be our lid color. I'm gonna try and pick at least four, but for this, I guess this will be the lid, and I'm gonna put it on the inner half of the lid. 
I guess that's the that's the challenge of this is you don't know which number you're gonna get next so maybe you'll get like a really good color for another area and you just you don't get to know until you know it happens next we're generate we got number seven which is an interesting color that is color eggplant so that's this purple kind of here um i'm not sure where i'm gonna put this but i'm gonna take a delium tools brush and uh maybe put this on the outer corner and the other half so this will be like a sarah sanderson type look i can i can i can dig it it'll be kind of fall for summer but we'll give it a shot Okay, so now I'm going to generate another color. We got number 18. So that is... Let's see, 8, 16, 17, 18. That is Kava or Sava. I don't know if it's supposed to be in French or not. But it's kind of like a light gold color. Which we are going to pack on the... There is a bug in here. Um, we are going to pack on the inner corner. So, so far so good. The only thing that like threw me for a hot sec was the purple. But now we have a kind of lighter orange going in here. Which I'm going to take up so it's quite dramatic and brightening on the eye with a packing brush and then I'm going to use my finger let's do it again we still need uh under the lash and maybe an eyebrow highlight depending on what we get all right number seven again which is eggplant um so i guess that will be our under eye shade uh actually let me conceal first because i just have one concealer that's the makeup revolution conceal and define so i'm gonna do this first and then we'll put our under eyeshadow on. Okay, so now that I'm concealed, I'm gonna put the eggplant color. This is very intense now that we have that underneath. Now I'm gonna generate again. I got color number three, which is pecan. So that is gonna help blend out this color on the bottom. So finally, after that last one, I got number nine, which is color crepe. So we will have a brow highlight color. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on up above, mainly just to blend out those edges up there. Luckily these shadows blend really nicely together. So nothing should be too crazy. I have six liners to choose from. I have this kind of purpley metallic one. Hopefully you guys can see from Avon. I have a brown shimmery one from Physicians Formula. I have a blue one from LA Girl. The liquid matte from NYX. A black sparkly one from Physicians Formula. And a liquid liner from Ico. So generate away and it's number two so that is the brown liner which actually kind of works with this look so let's do a little bit of brown pencil i was kind of hoping for the liquid liner just because i think that would bring this look the whole way together like a really fierce wing but We're gonna go with it. So I have some options. I have the Lash Sensational. I have the NYX Colored Mascara in pink. I have the Monsieur Big from Lancome. I have Marcel's Nano Lash, which is not really my favorite. And then I have Roller Lash, which is okay. So out of five, number one so that is the lash sensational 
This one is also not my favorite. Um, it is waterproof. So that's why I picked it because it does give a different texture. So now time for lashes. I have four lash choices. Um, I have the Red Cherry 747s. These are kind of light and big. Um, then I have the 201s here from this random one I got at iMats. Kind of look like that. I have the Neon Blue Fantasy Maker at Lashes from Wet n Wild, which I've never used before. And the Ardell Demi Wispies in 120. So they are kind of what I'm hoping for with this look. So one through four. So I have a 25% chance to get the ones I want. And I got number three. So that means the blue lashes. This is going to be wild. Well, the big blue lashes are on and they're actually not as bad as I initially thought. They just don't want to seem to actually stay on the lash line. Like they want to migrate upwards and I don't know if it's just the way they're made or what. If they were black they would be like one thing but since they're blue I don't know I, kind of, I think it kind of fits the witchy look. So now we are on to contour. This one from NYX, this is in cinnamon and peach, far too dark for me. It's for a Halloween like piece and this is my normal contour. So it's going to be one or two and I got one. <laughs> so we're going to use the dark, dark end on here and hope I can blend it out. let's do blush just keep on packing on the color why don't we so I have five blushes to choose from I have a Colourpop in fun with friends which is kind of like a light metallic pink I have Cheerio which is a dark dark red I have the lollipop hop from NYX Tango from Hikari and my favorite Bella Bomba so let's generate number three, which is Land of Lollies. So this is a pretty bright sort of blush, but we will, I think it'll help balance some of this out. Now it's time to highlight. So we have again, five to choose from. We have Mary Luminizer, uh, Paraline, Paraloone, Paraloon from ColourPop, the Wet n Wild Rainbow Highlight, the NYX Illumina uh, Illuminator, now I can't talk, in Narcissist, and the NYX Highlighter in Pop and Rock. We got number five, so that means Pop and Rock, which is one of my favorite highlighters. All right, we are almost at the end. We are at lips. I have six options for lips. So we have one of my favorite lip colors, Gemini from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. We have Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in, what color is this? It just says HD Luster. So this must be called Luster. It's like a metallic gray, which could be interesting. Just a, a lip gloss in Limeade, so it's just like clear. Uh, MAC Viva Glam Miley Cyrus. So a really bright fuchsia pink. Nervous. Serpentina from Lime Crime. Or, let's see. Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So like a nude. Let's see. Change it to six. And we got number one again. So it is going to be Gemini. Which I was kind of hoping for Hollywood or maybe Serpentina. 
but Gemini is kind of like a dark nude pink, so we'll roll with it. All right, you guys, so this is the finished challenge. Um, This one was actually fun. I actually like how it turned out. It turned out very cool and kind of fall-like. I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see. It actually turned out quite well for what we put together here. So if you guys like this challenge, make sure you like this video. I will try and get on the challenge thing more. Um, I know it's really big and trendy and whatever, so I should try and do more of them. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, check out my other videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.